بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما the next thing we'll see uh, in the previous section we have already seen the configuration so we already configured these things here so if you verify the configurations if i say show not on the router 2 it, it is on the router 1 actually so if i go to router 1 and if i say show ip access list as per my topology so we have configured these rules these are pre-configured but we did not apply this so we configured in the previous topic so now we decided to apply this now the acl rules we have configured on the router one and on this router one we have two interfaces s0 by 0 by 0 as well as this g0 by 0 interface now we can apply on any of the interface it depends so deciding the right interface is important here as well so we have two interfaces here and again, implementation is nearest to the source. It's okay, you, know, you can apply here uh, because we are taking this as a source. But of course, we are not implementing here, so we can just ignore this because I'm not taking the source in the same way as uh, here. But in the second example, I'll be using that. Okay, so you just ignore these two lines. Uh, basically here, we need to apply on these two interfaces in any of the direction in our route. So as per my example, um, writing the acl rules this as a source and this one dot network as my destination that is how i wrote right so if you check the acl statements the same thing if i go and check here so two dot network and three dot network are my source the first one we write is the source and the second one will be your destination so which means according to this the packet flow will be this way so it's coming from this side and hitting the router one so, which means if I decide to implement on this interface as zero by zero by zero, then what will be the direction? Now the direction will be inbound because it is coming towards that interface, right? So inbound, you know, we discussed in and out, anything coming towards the router interface is in, anything leaving that interface is out. Okay, remember that. So the same thing apply here as well. So you can apply it on as zero by zero by in, so it will not impact any other traffic because here we are specifying the source and destination and protocol. Unlike in the standard ACL, if you remember in the standard ACL, uh, it may also deny other traffic as well, but here it's not the case. So you can still go and apply on this interface. That is correct. And it will be inbound. The same configuration as zero by zero by zero IP access group. The ACL number we used 145 and then inbound. or Let's say you don't want to apply on the WAN interface. You don't want to restrict. I want to apply nearest to this uh, interface here. Let's say in that scenario, then we can go and apply on G0 by 0 interface also, or then what will be the direction in that case? So if you just observe, it is going outbound. So it is leaving that interface. So if you decide to implement on G0 by 0, it will be outbound. And if you're replying on this, it will be inbound. So both are correct both will work so you need to apply any one any one you have to apply no need of both okay so in this case as i said i'm not following this best practice i'm not using the implying on the source because just to figure out the common part clear so let's quickly apply this so i'm going to apply it on s0 by 0 in so i'll apply this okay both will work if you want i can show you uh, both or you can just implement these things so already we have an acl 145 and i'm applying inbound on that now the next thing is verification so what we'll do is we'll try to verify by generating some traffic so this is my uh, these are the traffic what we denied and if i just check out my topology here this is my topology so we'll try to generate some traffic and we'll verify the request so let's go to the topology here uh, in this topology according to our scenario previously everything was working if you remember we tested with some uh, http as well as these pings these are all working now the specific ping should should stop so the first thing i'll start with the first rule so we'll try to take this one so i'll try to initiate a traffic from 1.3 Okay, so two dot one two dot network means from this PC, 
to 1.3, 1.3 HTTP server. So 1.3 HTTP server from 2.1. I'll generate some HTTP request. So how to do that? We can simply go to this computer and then we have an option of browser here. I can type in the IP address of 192.168.1.3, right? So that is my destination. HTTP service. So what I should expect is that should be denied. And you can see it shows request timed out means it matches. So let's go to the router and verify the ACL. So I should see some counters here. You can see the packet counters here. It increases, which means now there is a traffic which was initiated from 2.0 network means any 2.0 network. I have initiated from 2.1 and if it is going to 1.3 and if it is equal to HTTP that has been uh, matched and as per the rule it is denied okay so which means the first one is working we'll go one by one dns i'm not verifying dns here so i'm going to skip this we are not going to simulate dns here ftp we can do that on 1.4 right again i already discussed how to simulate the ftp here so if you want to simulate ftp just go to the server ensure that that particular computer is a server computer okay with whichever the destination server you are simulating an FTP make sure that it is on and create one user account user one and the password is user one there's a default user account I think so Cisco Cisco we can still use that one with all permissions so you can still remove this and use that default one okay I can still use that so make sure that this is enabled and we'll try to verify from 1.4 Sorry, 1.4 is the destination from 3.pc, which means from 3.1 computer. I'll try to initiate a request to 1.4, and that is my FTP service. So, how to do that? So, let's go to 3.1 here. Previously, I have tested before this. So, how to do that? There is a command called FTP, and then type in the IP address. You can see it's it's not working so it's trying to connect but it errors opening because the reason the reason should be the ACL so let's go and verify the packet counters if everything is okay I should see the packet counters here you can see this one so previously it was working right because that's the reason you know whenever you are implementing these labs make sure that you verify before and after or if you have not verified before then basically you can simply go and uh, remove the ACL and apply it and then verify it should be working when I remove it and when I apply it should not be working so as per the rules that's how you can verify the labs here now similar way I'll try to verify this rule this one uh, from 3.1 3.1 means again this computer from this computer I think this is 3.1 PC just to confirm that 3.1 okay now from this 3.1, I'm trying to access 1.3 HTTP service. HTTP means I need to go to the browser and type in the IP address of the server 192.168.1.3. You can see the request is not coming. I should see request timed out. And if I go and verify on the router, the packet counters, I should see this matches this one, right? This one. And finally, let's verify the ICMP also. ICMP, the ping request will be initiating from 3.2 to 1.1. 1.1, yeah, 3.2 is this computer. So I'm going to verify the IP address. Initiate some request from 3.2. I'll try to ping to 1.1. You can see the reply is coming from where? It's coming from 10.1, and the 10.1 is saying I cannot send. And four ICMP request being sent if i say show ip access list you can see it matches this one 3.2 so 3.2 here it matches this packet so you can see remaining actually they are like osp of other packets so basically you just ignore that one uh, that will counter normally that this counter will increase but you can see these four matches here now rest of the traffic should be permitted rest of the traffic means what i'll do is i'll try to access from 
whether I should be able to ping to this one, this 1 1.4 or not. I think that should work because that should come under without any problem. So let me just quickly try to go here. I think this is 2.1. So I'll try to ping to 1.4. 1.4, I should be able to ping, no problem, because 1.3 also I should be able to ping, right? Because I have not defined any rule which matches 2.1 and 1.4 with ping. Is there any rule here? So which means automatically it matches the last rule that is permit any. So this is just to ensure that we are not uh, denying accidentally other traffic which which is supposed to be permitted. So what I'll do is I'll try to go to this one of these computers here, let's say this 3.1 and here you can see I cannot access 1.3. Let me access 1.4. 1.4 I can access. So from 3.2, 3.1 computer, I can access 1.4 HTTP service. HTTP I can access because as per the rules from 3. Dot network. So we have 3. Dot networks. And if it is going to 1.4 HTTP, there's no rule which is denying, right? So if you see here, 1.4, 1.3 is denied, but not 1.4. So which means previously when I was trying to access 1.3, 1.3 was not working because in my rule I have defined accessing 1.3, not 1.4. So that's the difference here. So if I go and check the rules, you can see it matches uh, some counters will increase in the permit IP and any &E traffic. Okay, so this is how you can verify. So once we remove the implementation, so if you just want to uh, make sure that, you know, uh, you just I don't want this ACL to work. So you don't need to remove the complete ACL. I can simply go and say no before that. And once you remove that, again, all the traffic will be permitted. Just to verify what I'll do is, I'll go to one of the host here. From this host, 1.3 was not pinging. So now, now the 1.3 is able to, we're able to access the 1.3 web service now because I removed the ACL. Now, if you want to do the same thing, you can test by implementing on other interface also. Anyway, I'm not going to show you this, but basically I can go and say IP access group, but this is going to be, sorry, I removed, I think, G0 by zero. I have to apply outbound. So if you go and apply outbound on G0 by zero interface, you'll get the same result. So which means if I try to access 1.3, the 1.3 should not work, right? That's what I'm uh, checking here. You can see request time dot. Okay, so you can change the interfaces as per the requirements and you can go ahead and verify. So always make sure that you, uh, by verification, you can, you just need to make sure that whatever the traffic you want to deny is being denied and whatever the other traffic which is supposed to be permitted that is also permitted at the same time.